So, here we are again. <clears throat> it's Friday, day five. <sighs> Yesterday was a pretty interesting day. We've been working on getting it so that people can work from home. Uh, and we put in some new technology. It worked really well. Uh, it worked seamless. It's technology that I knew existed. We had just never implemented it because we didn't really have this need to get people off site uh, that much, uh, at least hardcore off site. You know, we've had VPN, we've had people that could connect, and we've, we've supported that from a more of a casual standpoint. But as we begin to prepare for what might happen, we need to get a little bit better uh, infrastructure in place. We, we implemented a security gateway that is cool. You know, it's probably cool to me. It's just like, yeah, so to anybody else. But it's kind of cool that, that people can do uh, what they need to do with the virtual infrastructure and going home. So we're kind of excited about that. And I think we got it together just in time because I heard, you know, through my best news source, I'm in the shower and my wife comes in and says, California just told everybody to stay at home. I'm like, great. So I heard a real short message on that coming on, coming into work today that their uh, governor of California has ordered everybody shelter in place. And what the heck does that mean now? 40 million people aren't going to be doing the stuff they usually do. Uh, that's a lot of people. Uh, that's a lot of idle activity uh, or not activity. Idle people looking to do things? I don't know. That's weird. So, it's a lot. A little frightening, you know, and, and as California goes, so likes the Seattle area to go. So, what's that going to mean for us? And yesterday, I, I, I know somebody. I'd put out a, back up a little bit, I'd put a thing out on Facebook and say, hey, you know, I know maybe between my wife and I, like 300 people that if we saw him in the store, we would stop and say hi and maybe have a little chit chat. And uh, so I asked the people on Facebook, does anybody know somebody with coronavirus that's been diagnosed, confirmed? Absolutely know it. Uh, not a friend of a friend told me they knew somebody or anything like that. Just one degree of separation from somebody with it. No, oh, there was 13, 14 people that responded that you know, like, my husband has a coworker. Uh, okay, that's two degrees. Uh, or uh, a friend's husband, that's two degrees. So, you know, 15 people, 300 people each. A lot of people are more social than I am, so maybe they have more. That's a whole lot of people that no, don't know anybody with it. And uh, so yesterday, I, I know somebody that wasn't feeling well at work. Uh, Crampy, a little achy, maybe a fever, don't remember. And uh, the doctor said they need to go see a doctor. And this person works at a hospital. But so they went and, and went to see the doctor at, at their local clinic, their local doctor, and, and said, well, well, we'll take an x ray, you know, we'll, we'll check it out. But they didn't do a COVID test. This person is kind of showing the symptoms. But they didn't do the test. And it seems like if that's the kind of person that we don't test, who do we test? Uh, it's kind of kind of odd that you would expect that that person would have, wasn't tested for COVID. Did an x-ray, yeah, it's, it's probably a minor virus. Uh-huh, a minor virus, odd. So anyhow, I've uh, rambled on past my four minutes. Uh, it's Friday. Looking forward to a good day here at work uh, and a good weekend. It's been kind of a, a crazy week, and I don't think today is going to be any less crazy than they have in the past. Got to get more people working uh, from home and set up and using this new infrastructure we put in, so we're kind of excited. So anyhow, ring the bell, like, give me a thumbs up. I like to know that people are watching these videos. It's kind of fun. Uh, anyhow, I, Monday maybe. Don't think there'll be anything this weekend unless something really big happens in the news. Bye.